In this video, I'll show you how to automate RSS feeds with N8N. And as an example, we'll send new feed items straight into Google Sheets. Set it once and your data updates on its own. Start by opening rss.app. Here, you can create a feed from almost any web page or use your own RSS feed if you already have one. Just paste the URL into the generator. Once your feed loads, click Save to My Feeds. From there, you can translate it into another language, apply filters like blacklist, whitelist, and even combine multiple feeds by adding them to a bundle. When you're done, copy the XML URL. We'll use it in N8N. Open N8N and click Create Workflow. Add your first step, search for RSS, and choose RSS Feed Trigger. Set how often you want it to check for new posts, for example, every hour, and paste in the XML URL from RSS app. Click Fetch Test Event. If everything's set up correctly, you'll see a sample item appear on the right, showing fields like author, title, link, date, and description. That means your RSS trigger is ready. Now click the plus sign to add your next node. For this tutorial, let's use Google Sheets as an example. Choose the action, add a new row. Click create new credential and sign in to your Google account. Set sheet within document as the resource. Select the append row operation and pick your document and sheet. Make sure your sheet already has the columns you want to fill. Then simply drag and drop the fields from the left, for example, title, link, and date into the matching columns. Click execute step. You should see node executed successfully. And when you open your Google Sheet, the test data will appear instantly. Once you're happy with the setup, click Activate. From now on, N8N will check your RSS feed automatically and send new posts to your Google Sheet every hour. You can always open the Executions tab to review the history and make sure everything's running smoothly. And that's it. You've just connected your RSS feed with N8N Visit rss.app to create more automations today.